of superintendent decision to deny removal of library book. The date listed here is Friday, December 8th, 2023. The time on this agenda when um, published last Friday, I believe, or earlier, said 10 a.m. Uh, I'm gonna share with you some new information. The decision of the superintendent to deny removal of a library book from Mayfield High School Library has been appealed. Under regulations KEC-R and KEF-R, a public announcement must be made of the hearing appeal. This agenda item is the purpose of notifying the public that the hearing appeal will take place on Friday, December 8th, 2023, 9 a.m. Please note that the hearing appeal will begin at 9 a.m., an hour earlier than what is listed on this agenda. The complainant and administration have been notified of the hearing date and time. The board has been provided with a copy of the complaint, the written materials considered by the committee, and the transcript and video of the committee hearing. According to the regulations, prior to the hearing, each board member must have reviewed the, co the committee transcript and submitted materials. Any questions from board? It's all clear, 9 a.m. Friday, December 18th, 8th. <laughs> December 8th. <laughs> Moving on to agenda item 5B7, discussion and action regarding procedures to be followed for policy KEC slash KEF hearing appeal. Under regulations KECR, KEC-R and KEF-R, at the appeal hearing, the board at its discretion may permit comment from the floor not to exceed 10 minutes per collective viewpoint, or the board may move for a vote without additional comment based upon review of the transcript and submitted materials. In order to give the parties fair notice to the complainants and district representatives, I'm asking the board to decide tonight whether it will permit up to 10 minutes of comment from the floor, meaning from the complainants and district representatives before the board moves for a vote. If the board decides to permit up to 10 minutes of comment, then the complainants and district representatives can use their time as they choose to present their viewpoint. Alternatively, the board may decide not to permit additional comment from the floor. So I'll open this up for discussion before we entertain a motion. President Tenorio, can I have a little bit of clarification? Yes. Um, so is it a total of 20 minutes of public comment? Because it's 10. Max total 20. That's some total. Of some total of. of sides. Of, all right, thank you. I think I have and, the same question because at the hearing there were presentations and then a great deal of public comment. Mm. Um, um, the regulation as read is 10 minutes per collective viewpoint. Per collective okay. viewpoint. President Tenorio. Ms. Gallegos. Um, just, just to clarify, I don't know if you caught the second part of um, what Board Member Court said. She said public comment. And I think that um, the way that President Tenorio, you were reading this, um, as was I, is that it, from the floor means not from the dais. In other words, from each each respective party. So the complainant would have 10 minutes and okay. they could use their 10 minutes however they wanted to. Okay. The district representative would have 10 minutes. They could use their 10 minutes, but it wouldn't be public comment where people line up and randomly have the 10 minutes evaporate. It would be up to each party to decide how to put forward and use their 10 minutes of time. Is that is that President Tenorio? That's how I read it. Okay. Thank you for that clarification. Thank you, because that was not clear to me. Okay. 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 Any other questions? Yeah, I do. Um, I think I've missed something. Um, uh, is there something that we should be, the, we as board members should have written and turned in? Sure. Oh, no. No. So everything that was submitted was to something. you to prepare for the appeal, um, I mentioned, and then you just come prepared as you prefer, as you want to be um, at the hearing, you know, mm -hmm. depending on the vote here, whether it's going to be, we're going to hear comments from collective viewpoints or we don't, and then we will vote on it mm -hmm. on the okay. appeal. And 
that's up to you how you want to prepare for that. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. We had some 15 documents that were sent to us, and we have the novel that we've read, or will have read by then. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so there would allow in the, the 10 minutes for each, provide us with more information that we don't already have. Something to think about. Yeah. I think President Tenorio and Board Member Wofford, we won't know until it's said. That's the, that is very, you know what I mean? You're, we're throwing that question out, but we don't know. And I, mm -hmm. I think that in an effort to be as transparent and to be as inclusive as possible that we allow the 20 minutes. I do too. Or 10 minutes per collective yes, viewpoint. Yes, that's the, right. I'm sorry, yes, 10 minutes per collective viewpoint. I will, I wrote it down. Okay. <laughs> yes. And perhaps okay. each side has, must hone their argument then because they had more than 10 minutes um, in, the, in the hearing, okay. Okay. Uh, I agree, yeah, let's give each side 10 minutes. Yep. With that, okay. I will now entertain a motion to. Oh, Mr. I mean Sergio, would you like to chime in on what we're discussing? Yeah, I also agree that people should be allowed the ten minutes. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a bad habit of just getting very. Because <laughs> I'm looking right at it. So. <laughs> Thank you for being my eyes. You bet. Okay, I will now entertain a motion to permit up to 10 minutes of comment from the floor per collective viewpoint at the hearing appeal on December 8th, 2023. So moved. And Meaning, yeah. oh, sorry. <laughs> up to 10 <laughs> minutes for the complainant side and up to 10 minutes for the district side for a maximum total of 20 minutes before moving for a vote on the hearing appeal. So moved. And seconded. That's moved by Ms. Cooper, seconded by Mr. Wofford. Let's do a roll call. Uh, Member Cooper. Yes. Member Nolan. Yes. Secretary Wofford votes yes. Uh, uh, pres or Vice President, excuse me, Court. That's okay, yes. And President Tenorio. Yes, that motion passes 